AWS Loft Talks. I'm Justin from Criticism. I'm director of business development at Criticism, but in a former life, I've also been an app developer and computer scientist, so I'm not the totally empty suit. So my talk today is about how app performance affects how users perceive your app. And so a lot of these studies that we're doing are ongoing, but here are some initial results. Quick plug for Criticism, we do performance monitoring for mobile apps. And so over a billion monthly active users run through our platform. We monitor over 30 billion app loads every month. We have an SDK. It takes only a few minutes to install into your app, but we monitor everything that's going on in your app, everything from crash reports, exceptions, non-fatal errors, all the network calls that your app makes, and now like common workflows in an app and see where performance causes degradations. And so that makes us pretty well qualified for this talk, which is how do all these like app loads across these different types of devices um, affect you know your ratings in the app store and you know we're all pretty familiar with these you know errors in apps you know these things happen and you have almost no visibility when these apps are running in the wild the easy way to get, get started with an app is you just slap something together you ship it to the app store but you know little do you know that's only the beginning you have to start realizing that you have different user experiences on different types of devices. Some elements might be better, like you might want to streamline some API call. Uh, maybe you want to localize for different regions. But you know, if you really want a five-star app, which is really critical for optimizing your downloads, you want to make sure it's fast, it's responsive, that there are no performance problems, that there are no crashes, and that uh, you know, you're getting good reviews in the App Store. Even if it's performing well, maybe there's still gonna be errors. And so this is from a report that we just released a few weeks ago. We looked at average crash rates across all of our apps across uh, different operating systems. And we saw that over time, as an operating system gets more and more mature and developers kind of customize their apps for different platforms, crash rates tend to go down. And so we saw this with the recent release of iOS 8. As soon as a new operating system gets released, there's always a spike in crash rates, right? And then developers start releasing updates to their apps and the app's crash rates go down again, okay? So what this is telling you is that even if you think your app is doing well, you have to be really vigilant in making sure that it's properly maintained. And so we looked at average crash rates across different app categories as well. One thing we noticed was that really resource intensive apps tend to have higher crash rates. Things like video and photo apps, games have pretty high crash rates. But even though you might have an average crash rate, which is defined as number of crashes per 100 app loads, if you really want a five-star app, what we've, our research has shown is that like the, the highest performing apps have a crash rate that's two orders of magnitude lower than these averages. Same stats on the Android App Store as well. Average crash rates of two to three percent, really stellar apps, usually have a crash rate of like 0.02%. Some of this is joint research that we've done with one of our partners, Applause. And so what Applause is, it's a crowdsourced testing solution. And before you deploy your app, you can send it to Applause, and they'll send it to one of their 150,000 testers and make sure that passes all your functional tests. What they do is they actually mine all the different reviews for all the different apps on the App Store. And they have a model where they can categorize different reviews into specific categories based on what the topic is. And so what they found is across categories like usability and content and performance and speed and stability, almost all app reviews are about how usable is the app. Does the app have good content? Is it fast? And stability is actually like relatively low. You know, how, does it crash? But the thing is, if your users are talking about crashes in, in reviews, it's almost never a good sign. Make sure that one, you fix these errors, and number two, users don't talk about it. Make sure your apps perform well, because if they don't, you're gonna hear about it on Twitter, you're gonna hear about it in the App Store reviews, you're gonna see it in your ratings, and your downloads are gonna go down. We're all familiar with this uh, company, Nest, right? They have a smart thermostat. Late last year, they released an update that had uh, massive crash rate. It would crash on every single user's phone. And so they got hammered because every user was complaining, they were going on Twitter, there were news articles about it that, that no one could load their device. I mean, what that means is if you're on vacation or if you're at your house, you rely on this thing to securely, you know, securely monitor your temperature, you can't do it. And so we also looked through the App Store reviews, pretty terrible App Store reviews, things like do not install. We looked at three months of App Store ratings, two months before this incident and the month following the incident. 
it wasn't a super stellar app in the first place. It had reviews between average two and three stars. The green shows reviews that are between four or five stars. The red shows reviews that are one or two stars. But as soon as the app was launched, they had a plummet. It was like 400 something negative reviews saying, do not install, this app will break your nest. The news media got a hold of this and they had to pull the app from the app store. To wrap up, look at a customer like Pinterest. They have a crash rate below the average, I think 0.02%, something like that. And they have a five star average rating in their app store. These are my two rules of mobile app performance. Number one, don't let your app fail, and don't forget about rule number one. AWS Loft Talks.